Am I the asshole? For telling my bill I didn't know you needed a dick to drive a truck. I'll keep this really short. My bill my sister's husband has a truck. My husband and I were moving some furniture. About a week ago we asked if he could help us or let us borrow the truck to move it. He said sure and I went to pick up the truck yesterday. I get there and he asked where my husband was, I told him at home since he with a friend moving the stuff to the driveway. I was heading over the truck when he told me he can't give me the keys. I ask why and he tells me I couldn't handle it. I asked if he was joking and he just reiterated that I can't handle the truck. I told him I didn't know that I needed a dick to drive a truck and left. I informed my husband on the situation and it has spread. He called me pissed and we got in a big argument, he clearly thinks I am jerk since it is his truck. My sister is on his side so I am doubting myself. Also I am a good driver and I haven't had any crashes or tickets. Not the asshole Lamau that is ridiculous. He can do what he wants with his truck but he already agreed that you guys could borrow it so him backing out is just showing his misogyny. Hope your husband is supporting you. I would let it go knowing a little better how your bill considers women. I would say that if you are close to your sister, having a good sit down conversation might be good. She is probably internalizing a lot of misogyny if her husband is treating her like that. Not the asshole. Trucks do not require a dick to be driven. Fact checked and verified. How would, what, where would you even put it? Not the asshole. Unless the truck is stick shift and you literally don't know how to drive stick there is nothing at play here other than misogyny. I'd be making can't handle it jokes at him for the rest of my damn life. Last time I, F, moved, I rented a truck. Friends came over to help, and one of my guy friends tried to take the truck's keys. He assumed that he would need to drive it as the guy. It was a rental and I was the only insured driver so I didn't need to argue back too much. I find this cultural thing of a guy needing to be the driver in general a bit weird. Not the asshole. What does that even mean if not to be a sexiest dick? He's clearly the R and I'm glad you made a simple remark to reflect this and then left. And Bill thinks you could have been nicer? Thank you for degrading me as I do not have a penis. Perhaps my tiny woman brain shall bake some cookies and clean your house as an apology for my lack of genitalia. Good grief not the asshole. I have a truck. Have only had a truck for the last 15 or so years. Was actually telling my boyfriend the other evening I don't care or if I could ride in a car comfortably after driving a truck for so many years. Not the asshole. Unless there's details we don't know here. Has Bill refused to let other women drive his truck? Has he seen you driving and has an opinion, separate to your lack of tickets and crashes? Chances are, he thinks you need a dick to drive a truck and that's how you called it. If that's not the case, he's either not explained his decision-making process to you just calling you an R for your judgment or you've not shared with us. Not the asshole I'm a woman and I drive a semi-truck for a living. So, in my humble opinion, he can suck it. Not the asshole. Only a man can handle his truck. I needed that laugh today. Not the asshole. Your bill has some misogyny he needs to get over. Not the asshole. The fact that your sister is on his side should make you concerned about sister's sexism, not doubtful about how incredibly stupid what he did is. Not the asshole. Bill has a strange idea of sex-linked abilities. Either that or other people need to sterilize the steering wheel thoroughly, lol. Little old lady here. I learned to drive in a 1970s truck and a Jeep CJ5. And I drove a 5-speed stick shift Celica for 15 years. Guys were always in disbelief that I could drive a truck, and absolutely astonished about the manual shifter I drove. This allowed me to perfect the shit-eating grin I have used for years. Not the asshole. Your bill is a misogynistic car. You and your husband should leave them to it. You don't need to have a dick to drive a truck but it seems you do actually need to be a dick to drive, or own, one. Not the asshole. 
If he had asked something like, have you driven a car this big before? I would have understood his point of view. If you are used to a compact or mid-sized sedan, then switching to a tall truck with a long cab may be tricky. You'll definitely want to get used to it. But that wording makes it sound like, oh little lady, this Mustang just has too much spirit for a timid rider like yourself. Let me get you one of them little fillies. That's just right for an itty bitty lady such as yourself. Gross. Not the asshole how would the truck know it wasn't a dick driving it? Not the asshole. Is there something he had installed that requires this appendage to drive the truck? I learned to drive on a standard truck as a short lady, I love the perspective of the road from a tall truck. Not the asshole. I work in an auto body shop and I love my job. Recently we had to move a stick shift Camaro about an hour away from the shop that could do further trim and detailing on the Camaro. I thought it was so very funny when the young macho guys who work there couldn't drive a stick. At the end of the day, I drove the car for the trim and detail and back, and it was F.A. not the asshole stick driving that car. I guess my response to your post is that a woman can drive do anything with the right talent and experience. Not the asshole. Oh he was definitely being a misogynist. You may have called it out in a crude manner, but emo not totally undeserved. The notion that women should always respond to someone being a jerk in a kind and deferential manner is its own kind of misogyny. Your sister married the guy, so, it would not be surprising that she shares his views. It could also be that it's not worth having the battle with him over it. It is his truck. Doesn't mean his you can't handle it isn't misogynistic. Not the asshole it was extra sexist of him to say that. Not the asshole. He sounds like a sexist little insect. Maybe send him and your sister videos of women driving trucks, tractors, box vans, semis, etc. Don't because it would escalate things. But it sure would be funny and petty. Not the asshole. This is meaningless machismo. If it was something requiring special training, I'd understand, but a truck? I recall the time my brother asked to borrow my 1000cc sport bike to have a go. No license, nothing, just because he said he could drive anything. Does his particular truck have a vagina ignition? No question mark then no dick required. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Great response. From those of us without dicks, f that guy. Is it a pickup truck or a big box truck or a semi? Pickups are no big deal to drive. What an idiot not the asshole. My Bill recently parked his full size pickup behind my car, and I asked him to move so I could get out. He pulled out his keys and said, want to just take my truck? Sure I enjoyed driving it, and it was pretty much exactly like driving a car. As long as you're aware of its larger size, it's no biggie. Your bill sounds like a doofus. Not the asshole. I grew up in a farming community and saw many women up from 1675 driving jacked up F350s and everything in between perfectly fine. He's just a misogynist. I once returned a U-Haul truck with a trailer. The old man when I got there said, where's your man? I asked why I needed a man, and he said I needed someone to unhook the car from the trailer. I said, tell me how, and I'll get it. Crawled under, unhooked, drove car off trailer. Thought the old man was having a stroke, his jaw was on the ground. Not the asshole and I would bring this story up around him constantly because honestly, dude deserves to be ridiculed. Why are you doubting yourself? Because your dumbass sister agreed with him? You know a male or female makes no difference to drive. Why are you, even for one second, doubting yourself? He is a misogynistic R. I remember my best friend's girlfriend had a Ford 150 with manual transmission and no power steering. And as far as I know she did this all without a dick. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Sorry, he doesn't get to be a sexist asshole and get offended when he gets called out for being said sexist asshole. Not the asshole, Bill should learn that a woman is more than capable of driving his emotional support truck.